a boy named Austin Hogwout was uh, filming the beach with his drone camera when a woman by the name of Andrea Mears approached him and aggressively told him to stop when he told her that it was perfectly within his rights to do so. She called the police on him. And instead of waiting for the police to come, she decided to go right ahead and, first of all, attempt to destroy his property. And second of all, she assaulted him. Eventually, at the end of this incident, she was charged with assault and breaching the peace, and she was given around a year's worth of jail time for her actions. Now, why am I even talking about this? Because this seems like just your average run-of-the-mill story. Well, for one, the interesting thing is that all of this was caught on camera. And it's a good thing all of this was being recorded, because secondly, when the police came, they heard her side of the story first, and assumed that it was the correct side of the story, and was prepared to arrest Austin until he showed them the video of her initiating the assault. Andrea Mears has since claimed that the video itself was doctored or edited so that he would appear to be the victim, but in reality, he was the one who assaulted her first. She also made this claim to the police. And which begs the question, if you can clearly see in the video the context behind the fight, like a few minutes before the actual assault happened, he would have no reason to assault her. Like, it doesn't even make sense. In fact, nowhere in the duration of the fight could she claim that he even remotely assaulted her. When you look at the scuffle itself, like, I know the camera is kind of shaky and everything, but, like, he barely laid a hand on her. And yet, she has the audacity to claim that he was the one who assaulted her. So, what else do I have to say about this? Well, let me propose a hypothetical situation to you all. Assume it was the other way around. Assume the genders were reversed, and it was an older man assaulting a younger girl in this exact scenario. What do you think would have happened? Or let's just say he didn't have a camera with him. Who do you think the cops would believe? And let's be real, this happens in every wake of life. Like, if you go to a club, and you're a guy, and a woman pretty much just goes batshit crazy on you and tries to scratch at your face, and you're trying to push her away, and she falls, and then she feigns crying, and, and the bouncers come over, who do you think they're going to believe? They're going to believe the woman, of course, and they're going to throw you out if you're the guy in question. And you're telling me she only got, like, a year's worth of jail time for assaulting a minor? Like, if that was a man assaulting a 16-year-old girl, his ass would be in there for at least three years, maybe more. It's incidents like these that honestly make me a little bit fearful as a man. I'm not going to say I have some persecution going on, but, you know, these are things I have to be wary about. Like, am I not allowed to take pictures of the beach anymore? Am I not allowed to look even too suspicious to a woman? before she assaults me, or and then, and then goes to the police and claims that I assaulted her or some shit like that? Can I not go anywhere in life without some sort of audio or video recording device in case something like this happens and the cops take her side? That also makes me wonder, as a man, if I'm being assaulted by a woman, do I even really have the right to defend myself? Legally, of course, everyone's going to say yes, but in reality, it might not be so simple because the cops obviously were going to take her side. Yeah, ten cop cars showed up to the beach, and all of them assumed that um, the boy was the aggressor in the incident, of course. So, you know, do I even have the right to defend myself? And if I don't, then who is going to defend me? Who is going to defend the man who is assaulted by the woman? Certainly as hell ain't going to be the police, because the police never take a man's side. So if it's not law enforcement in any way, who's going to look out for a man's right to defend himself? Or who's going to look out for a man's well-being? And if you really do insist that this boy had no right to defend himself, then honestly, you're retarded. Like, just because she's a woman, does that mean that she can't hurt him in any way? 
Are you crazy? Do you know how many people have been assaulted by women? The statistics for assault are pretty similar if you really look closely of women assaulting men and men assaulting women. It's pretty close. So to say that women are not capable of bodily harm or to say that they should not be taken seriously as a threat, I think, is really undermining women, first of all. And second of all, it is quite demeaning to men when you say that the assault on a man is not quite as important or not taken quite as seriously as a potential assault on a woman. Just saying. May the truth always be heard. Peace.